Hey there, it's Mike Cayley 7. Today's the 29th of August, and I am riding to work again. I'm going to try to take a little bit of a different route today, just so that you don't have to see the same stuff that you always see. I usually go that way. So today, what are we going to talk about? Well, first off, I would like to say thank you to my many, many subscribers. Many more than I ever thought that I would have or deserve. Thank you so much for all that you do. And by that, I mean for watching my videos and subscribing. Thank you. 3,006 as of this morning. Can you imagine that? 3,000 people. There are 3,000 people in the world that actually think, you know what? I'm going to subscribe to this guy. I like this guy's uh, content. I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> well, so thank you. I'm very, very honored and humbled. So uh, there's that. And uh, shout out to uh, Chris Lonsbury. Haven't seen... Uh, his videos in a while, but I looked up one recently about things he's learned and magazines and such. If you haven't uh, checked out Chris Lonsbury's channel, uh, you should do so. I will try to remember to put that in the description. Ooh, solar panels. Ooh, I like this little curve coming up here. It's a very small curve. I'm only doing 50, but still. A very, very slight lean for that one. I'm sure the sport bike crowd is like, that's not a lean. That's a nod of the head. Yeah, I know. You guys are awesome. And another lean. There we go. This is Old Stage Road, in case anybody's one of the map type people. It always makes me laugh when people uh, blur out, cut out, crop out their um, license plates. <laughs> it's a public thing. What are you blurring it out for? Thousands of people can see your license plate every day if you commute long term to work. It's a public thing. Anyway, I, uh, I know that people can find where I am. All you have to do is find Wake Tech. And you can follow my route to my house. And that's why I'm heavily armed. But, you know. Hopefully I'll never, ever, ever need to use anything, anything like that. So so that was a shout out to Chris Lonsbury. I, I was uh, momentarily distracted by a curve. I would like you guys to, uh, if you can, send Harley Trick some love. Go to his page or Facebook or email and, and just tell him that you're you're rooting for his success. He's having a rough time. And I hate it for him. I really, really do. And I feel so helpless. He got shafted at his job. So, uh, I hope he finds some love out there. He definitely deserves it does not deserve what he's going through. Shout out to Moose3971 who is now able to do 18 foot uh, U-turns from a dead stop and going at speed, whatever. Uh, he's awesome. I have not practiced nearly at all because I haven't ridden nearly at all. It's nice and cool this morning though. All right, so let's see. I got to think of a topic real quick. I've learned some stuff. You want to hear what I've what I've been doing with my time? Is I've been watching educational videos on YouTube. That's my big thing. And uh, I learned recently about black holes. Apparently, uh, the, the the current theory is that the universe is going to expand and expand and expand forever, or at least you know so long that it's like forever. Google, Google, Google years. And uh, the only things left will be black holes. And then Stephen Hawking 
has this theory that's, I guess, been proved uh, about Hawking radiation where quantum particles appear on the edge of a event horizon of a black hole and when they disappear again, because that's what quantum things do, they suck a little piece of the black hole away from it. And so if, through radi radiation, yeah, through radiation and evaporation, whatever you want to call it, the black hole will one micro particle at a time, one quantum quark at a time, evaporate. So that's why it takes Google, 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 Google years for nothing to be left. And so that's the current theory about the universe, is that everything's going to be gone. There will be no, no more planets and stars and not even black holes. It will just be a big, vast, black emptiness. But uh, I think they have a theory about how things are going to go poof or, or something again. But anyway, they discovered in the cosmic microwave background radiation, they discovered the remnants, they believe, of dead black holes from a previous iteration of the universe. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool to discover something like that. So, um, yeah. Maybe there was another universe before this one. And maybe we existed in it. If this is like one of them endless loop things, think of how many times you've watched this video already. How many times I've made this video. How many times I've, uh, I don't know, died making this video. <laughs> I mean, it, there's, if it's infinite possibilities, infinite iterations, then that means this video has played out infinite ways. And there have been days where I never made this video, days where I didn't exist. I mean, it's just crazy all the the possibilities that, that this brings up. This is where I work. And now I'm going to stop. Anyway, that's, that's my geekiness for today. I hope you guys are doing alright. I'm feeling much better today than I have been, so yay! Alright, it's my Kaylee 7. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you later on.